Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Saturday, March 31st, 2018. The tarot card for today is the star. What a beautiful card, okay? First of all, I have to say that because it's still from 78 Tarot Mythical, which we've been showing. Tomorrow will be the last day for this for a while. And this one's from uh, one of those renowned artists, Meredith Dillman. Okay, she comes out with some really great products with her artwork. I just have to mention that. Now, you know, I have to tell you, first of all, full moon blessings. Today is our full moon in Libra. It's also a blue moon. Don't forget to check out my uh, full moon video which is on my Facebook page this time. I put it out for free. It's one you normally find on Patreon or in my Facebook members only area. So be sure to check it out. There's also a special promotion with that video, which will, you know, give you an opportunity to receive a one year subscription to my special guidance area on Facebook. Now, the star, this is what I'm looking at here. And I'm saying to myself, you know, yesterday, we had the Nine of Cups, the wish card of the tarot. This is like another wish card right here. What's going on, people? You know, I have to tell you, in the Northern Hemisphere, at least I know in the United States, we have a saying, uh, and it pertains to the weather, but I'll tell you what, this month it feels as though it pertains to life itself. And it's that March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, and when when I think lamb, I also think tomorrow's Easter, and uh, yeah, it's just a very interesting time. Things have shifted tremendously from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. Now, given the fact that this is a full moon, I can't help but think that there are some sort of implied endings in here, but I also think there's some new beginnings. And the star is all about our faith and our hope, and, you know, and not that hoping for things that we can't have, but, you know, that, that hope for good things, what we need in our lives. And, you know, it's like that sign that the universe has your back and you very well may be seeing that. Okay. So I, I do have to mention before I continue with all the, the positivity, you know, Mercury's retrograde. So though there's going to be those out there, especially with the full moon vibe. So give yourself a couple days with this because sometimes the full moon can get us down where you're feeling that lack of faith in the universe. Okay. That type of thing. Don't think the universe has passed you by. You know, there are good things that are coming. I really think, uh, you know, with all the guidance that, you know, I mean, I have everything prepared way ahead of time. And, you know, my recollection is, is that when the guidance gets to like mid-April, there's a big, big shift that's coming, a big transformation that's beginning to play out in your life. So just know that you need to get through these next couple of weeks, get to the new moon, and, you know, there's really going to be a big difference. But I really think that there is that, um, I think I want to use the word inspiration that comes in. There, there is a sense of positivity here. I'm telling you, this past week, we have seen cards showing that you can and will have what you need in your life. And, you know, the universe wants you to know this. So yeah, I know some out there are susceptible, you know, to the, to the full moon. And, you know, we'll talk about that on other days and everything about watching how you feel before, how you feel after, you know, how do you, how does the Libra moon affect you? You know, are you undecided about things? Because Libra ha always has a little bit of hesitancy to it because Libra wants to weigh things out. But also Libra is about relationships and there are other things going on, you know, planetary this week that are bringing up some of those themes. So that would be the biggest thing to watch around you is what's going on in your own personal relationships, even the relationships of others that you see. You're going to watch things playing out because I'm telling you, March came in like a lion and, you know, the change just came roaring in. It's going out like a lamb and things are shifting in a new direction. You might not see it yet until mid-April, but know that it's coming. 
Know that the universe is aware of your wishes and that things are indeed happening. So that faith, keep it, all right, in spite of everything. You know that is one of the most difficult things to do, you know, whenever we have any kind of problem or issue in life, to maintain that faith, to know that the universe will help us even when we don't have the answers. So we're all being guided and we are being guided to where we need to be. So I wanna thank you all very much for listening. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.